Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Danny and the next one is Prove It, which is the second single of Mark E. Moon by the television. And for me, the guys have already proved it. Uh, this album is completely, completely insane. It's absolutely amazing. And I'm super, super glad that I decided to give uh, this band a chance uh, to uh, react to on the channel. If you're first time here, I'm deep diving into music that I never heard before. I'm doing album by album. So uh, on a daily basis, I release one or two videos. So if you want to see more, please subscribe. And uh, let me know if you like the video by hitting the like button or leaving me a comment. What should I check next? Uh, uh, what do you think of the television? Are there any other bands that are overlooked uh, in this period of time? And uh, maybe the most interesting thing, what other bands uh, came after uh, the television that were inspired by the television. Uh, one that comes to my mind uh, would be The Strokes. Um, something conte more contemporary to television would be um, uh, the Talking Heads. But uh, the more I listen, the more distinguish, uh, more, the more I distinguish them. So yeah, let's let's see what uh, the last two songs on the record have to offer, and uh, yeah, I'll share a couple of comments after the song. Thanks for watching. Confidential.
case is closed. All right. Oh wow. Uh, I totally get it why they took uh, this song as um, as the second single or as a single in general uh, for their record. Uh, it has so many, so many uh, unusual choices uh, uh, for for creating such a creative song, uh, and uh, it is simple in a sense that it can be considered punk but uh, due to all the all these very very artistic details it's it's so avant-garde and so on the edge i mean even the whistle and uh yeah this is a uh, message at the end uh yeah crazy crazy good um it, it, I mostly got the vibe, so it reminded me of uh, one band from the 80s that I listened to, uh, wow, almost 20 years ago, uh, constantly. Um, it was, uh, well, actually two bands, uh, Minuteman and Firehose, basically uh, consisted of the same guys, apart from the, uh, the singer uh, from Minuteman who uh, tragically passed away in a car accident. But uh, regardless of that, uh, this... This song reminded me of that band, especially Firehose, uh, a lot. Uh, they used to have in the mid 80s or second part of the 80s this kind of the sound of guitar and singing, uh, like you can hear here. And uh, yeah, very, very nice flashback uh, to that music. Um, although uh, Firehose and Minute, uh, Firehose was a, a little bit more melodic, but a little bit more faster and uh, Minuteman was uh, all about one minute songs. So if you have not uh, heard of them, uh, please check it out. So uh, regarding this song, yeah, I, I really liked, uh, again, uh, this is uh, like in the ballpark of all the, all the rest of the songs. Um, this style is so versatile and so, so um, the boundaries are not very limiting, let's say in that in that sense, sense sky to the limit. Uh, although it, that might sound like a cliche, um, they can create like tons of uh, these kind of songs, and you won't get tired of it because they're always pulling something out of uh, from their sleeve or from their hat. And uh, yeah, that was my problem with Guiding Light. It it sounded like so many other songs, uh, or reminded me of so many other songs, while. These songs are very, very, all the other songs on the record are very, very unique, very, very true to their own style. And um, yeah, I, I hope uh, Torn Curtain, the last song on the record, will close the record in the best possible way. And uh, yeah, if you have anything to add, uh, if you have any memories uh, from hearing this record for the first time, please let me know in the comments. I'll be glad to read those through. And uh, yeah, I'll hope to see you tomorrow when we finish Marky Moon. Until then, thank you so much for your attention. Take care and bye-bye.